All right, good afternoon, everyone. Iguana Exterminators here. Uh, we're actually headed on our way out to Wellington. We had a call earlier this afternoon uh, from one of our uh, former clients, neighbors or friends, and uh, they said they got about 100 iguanas that are giving them a really hard time, apparently some large ones too. He's got a multi-acre farm, so uh, we're gonna go up there. I told him we'd come up there for about a half a day and uh, we clean them out for him. So uh, you guys are in for a real treat. We basically are going <clears throat> to an ultimate iguana turkey shoot. And uh, we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. We'll, uh, we'll head there and should be there in about five minutes according to GPS. So uh, once we get there, we're gonna be game on. You guys ready to go? Let's do this. Alrighty folks, <clears throat> we are out here on site in beautiful Wellington, Florida, beautiful horse farm area out here, and uh, we're going to go smoke those iguanas. Let's go. Stuck it. Goodness. Right in the side of the head. <laughs> that was a good shot if I say so myself. Oh! <laughs> 
right off the fence. Oh, you can see the red bug blood bubbles popping up. has to be. Nothing can survive that.
this, ladies and gentlemen? This is a perfect example of an iguana exterminator. One shot, one kill. Night, night. Big alpha on this one. Look at the size of those femoral pores. Yep, iguana exterminators. This is a big alpha I saw sitting up here. Can you guys see him yet in that palm tree up there? All right, guys, we just found out about a little lake that's on the north end of the property, and I just spotted a nice size fat one sitting up in this tree. Let's see if we can drop him. <laughs> I would say that's a yes.
ఐదు వేలు Come on down, big boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I see a tail hanging down on this one. Let's see if we can prompt it to move a little bit. side of the head. It's stuck.
lot of little ones. That little thing made it away. It ain't gonna last long.
Come on, magazine. Basilisk lizard. Pow! All right, folks. I think it's time we went back and looked for looked at our baited field that little basilisk show these guys what what else is new invasive species that's also taken up over here he did just get up and run away Let's go back and check our baited field. and gentlemen is how it's done. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see this. Do you see that hole on the side of its head? And it's still functioning. in the world. Two holes. All finished. All finished. All finished. Wow. 
How does it live through that? They're like, it, stop that. They're like dinosaurs. Good Lord, have mercy. Holy cow. I gotta take pictures of these holes.
we're gonna back off a few minutes, let them come back in. I set up that kill box in that pasture, and I want those iguanas in the front. I want them to flat footed right where they are. Alright, we're gonna reload in the meantime. Cool, thanks. Make sure we get a good backstop with a tree.
Oh my goodness, look at the size of that big boy. Oh yes, we're gonna go around. Thank you. Those big ones, it takes them. No problem. Huh? Do, can I go through here? I will. Thank you.
Sorry guys, I thought I had you on, had the camera on for that one. I just popped one over here literally about 90 seconds after I just turned the camera off. Hmm. Turtle shell. Anybody know what kind of turtle that is? Is it even a turtle or a tortoise? Sounds like rain's coming to me. Yeah, I think we need to hurry. <laughs> like now. It just got cold. All right, folks, Iguana Exterminators here. Uh, we lost about a half an hour, I don't know, more like about 45 minutes to that storm. Anyway, it's pretty much passed over, and I've seen a couple of iguanas just over here across the water. So uh, we're going to see if we can pop them real quick and uh, put them in the bag. <laughs> all right so unfortunately i don't think that we are going to be able to recover most of these we're going to do this at an angle oh it realizes it's been spotted now Go ahead and drop. <laughs> Don't you love the sound that they make when they hit? <laughs> Where was that little one? Yeah. 
There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. Come on down, little one. <laughs> it's stuck up there. I wish we could recover those ones over there. We'll circle back around on the way back. Hello boys. It's that soft nose. You're a good looking horse. Mm -hmm. How about you kids? Boy, you want to sniff too? No, it's okay. I met you. Man, you are a beautiful horse. Yes, you are. You are a beautiful animal. Okay. You guys have a good one. If you see the iguanas, just whinny. and gentlemen battery's getting low but i've seen a couple of nice big fat ones up here in this tree so we're going to try to smoke them real quick and uh do it before the gut do it before the batteries die ladies and gentlemen 
I think we just had somebody give themselves away right up there. And I see the tail. Oh wow, that must have been from earlier. Let's go over there and take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, iguana exterminators. We get our iguana. Ladies and gentlemen, to show you something I just noticed over here. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Oh, yes. Tag that one. He's hanging upside down now. <laughs> there, that one goes in the water. <laughs> These things all end up in the water in this place. I should have brought a dredge with me. He's hanging down. Done. Watch it fall here in just a second. I don't have time for that. Let's help it fall. Yeah, I'm not going to waste the pellet. Yeah, no. Not going to happen.
iguana exterminators in action. Oh, did one just give its way itself away over here? I think it might have. We're going to come back for this one a little bit later, on the way back. Right in front of me. Wow. And down he goes. and gentlemen it's uh, getting close to wrapping the day up but uh, before we do uh, I found a last few and I want to make sure I get some great GoPro video footage for these guys because uh, they've had a lot of problems with these iguanas and uh, I'm gonna make sure I get them a copy of this so that they can um, they can definitely see the, uh, the effectiveness of um, how we have dealt with their iguana problem and I think they're gonna really like this so we see a nice one right now he is up in this tree right there on that upper branch. You see him along the top of that? I'm guessing that's about 15-ish yards. We'll see. right in the side of the head. Ooh. Ooh, smacked it right in the side of the head. By wing. It's stuck up there. Jeez, another one. It's stuck. <laughs> it's bad enough all the floaters that are over there right now that I can't get to, but the rest of them end up actually just stuck in the tree. <laughs> well, that didn't last long before we found another one. Where did he go? Ah, there it is. Ooh, right in the side of the head. I see the tail twitching. Get out of that bush. Ooh, we got a runner. That's a bad move, dude. Ooh, yeah. You should have stayed still. <laughs> it's stuck down too. Lovely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
Our iguana just fell out of the tree over there. You can see it straight ahead. Just boosh! Like a five pound bag of sugar hitting the water. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep turning this on and off, no offense guys, but uh, trying to save the batteries.